just remember meeting Menika and she's so striking and beautiful in a way that I had never really experienced before. And that really set the tone for what the movement was going to be about too. I never knew that I could use my eyes or my face or my body in the way that Menika was asking us to use our bodies. And it was again, it was about the semantics and really figuring out some of the meaning to what we're, the, the potential meaning and the symbolism of the body and shapes we could make in different ways we could relate to each other and use space, time. Um, and I think it really helped ballet technique because we were, we were able to sort of be plastic and look, look at what ballet technique was from the outside. And then when we were in the Indian dance class with Menika, she, would be able, she was demonstrating, working with us, so we were kind of dancing with her. And using the eyes was very important for Menika. I remember the eyes were very important. So when I see ba uh, ballet dancers that I really love on stage or any kind of dancer um, who's giving a performance, the eyes mean so much and they're the first thing that, that we forget sometimes on stage. So I think back to Menika quite, quite often actually when I'm training myself to be on stage.